This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Well, it feels like a, ta a long time since I did one of these videos, but it's only been a few days. Anyway, we'll move on because we've got some interesting stories. So on my left here, you can see Motor Yacht uh, Ocean Victory. Now, Ocean Victory is owned by a chap called Viktor Rashnikov. And this vessel went dark in the Maldives in March of this year. Now, the vessel, as you see in this photo here, is in Dubai. It's at a resort in Dubai called the World Resort. And it's been there pretty much ever since March. Now, if you go on AIS right now, you'll see that it's still, the vessel is still officially in the Maldives, according to AIS, because they switched off the AIS and then hightailed it out of there and headed to Dubai. Vessels being in Dubai are at anchor for better part of seven months. You can see it says it's seven months since it broadcast the AIS. Now they've been at anchor for seven months and that means the vessel is in violation of uh, international maritime law because uh, AIS on a passenger vessel must be broadcast at all times when the vessel is at sea and at anchor. Now the vessel went dark on the 1st of March uh, 2022 and the owner, Mr. Rashnikov, was sanctioned by the EU on the 15th of March. So two weeks before he went dark, so he, he probably knew it was coming. The owner is believed to have a residence in that resort, and that's why the vessel is anchored just off that residence that he's currently staying in. Now, there's no uh, sign of Moti Yacht A, which was out there recently. It's possibly still back up in Ras Al Khaimah, but we're not completely sure. If you're out in that way, and you know, and you've, you've ID'd the vessel, please let us know. Anyway, we'll move on to the next story. Now, this is actually a correction that I've seen. I'm not correcting my stuff, but this time I'm correcting somebody else's because I saw on a website recently a story about a, a yacht called Moti Yacht Alea, and they said that the vessel uh, is owned by Alicia Usmanov, and they, was, they were wondering why the vessel is seemingly free to roam in the EU when he's, when he's currently under sanctions. Well, there's a very obvious reason for the fact that the vessel has not been arrested and that's because he doesn't own that vessel anymore. Now, the vessel was originally called Moti Yacht Tiz, um, debuted at the Monaco Yacht Show in 2019. Uh, the vessel was for sale because the original owner did not uh, take delivery of the vessel, the, the person who ordered the vessel. And Alicia Usmanov bought it and it had that beautiful blue hull and then he painted it in that, you know, that old cigarette stain colour yellow that he uses on, on Dilbar and on, on his other boats. He had the hull painted in that colour on, on, uh, and then changed the name to Lady Julia. And then later on he took the, but he left the superstructure in white and afterwards they realised it didn't look good. And then they took it back in and painted the rest of it in that yellowy white colour. And then he sold the vessel. And he sold the vessel to a, a, a chap called Lakshmi Mittal, who is a Indian born, lives in London, and uh, he's, a, he's a steel magnate. Now, that's the reason why the vessel isn't arrested, and that's the reason why the vessel is allowed to sail. It's in Trieste, I believe, at the moment. Uh, that's when that story was printed or put on, on the internet, the vessel had just arrived in Trieste, and they were dumbfounded as to why the vessel hadn't been arrested. Well, that's the reason why, because he doesn't own that vessel any longer. Anyway, we'll move on to the next story. This is the main story now. Now, this is about a Russian billionaire yacht owner who has renounced his Russian citizenship. Now, is this the first of many? Now, the chap I'm talking about is Yuri Milner. He, uh, he has made a lot of money, uh, obviously, in Russia in the early days but he is an investor in Silicon Valley products and some of the early investments he made on, are on some big companies. Um, so he, uh, he was an early investor in Facebook. He was an early investor in Alibaba.com, uh, Twitter, Airbnb, and Spotify. So some really good investments there. Now, Mr. Milner and his family uh, got uh, Israeli passports uh, a few years ago. Um, this is something that Israel offers to anybody of, of Jewish heritage, I believe. You can go and apply for Israeli citizenship. It doesn't hurt that you're a billionaire also. You can get passports in pretty much anywhere if you invest enough money in a country. 
how he's been living in the US since I believe since 2014 where um, he went after the um, occupation of uh, Crimea by the Russia he moved he says he, he moved away from uh, Russia permanently and he has been effectively in in the US since then uh, of course, the vessels he owns, he owns two big super yachts, um, 100, 106 meter, I believe, Andromeda, and 116 meter Ulysses. Now, those vessels were built by Graham Hart originally, the, the New Zealand billionaire. He built them with Clever Marine in Norway, and they were finished in, in, in Germany. And uh, for whatever reasons, I don't quite understand why he did it, but um, uh, Graham Hart, is he built both of them and then sold both of them to Yuri Milner? Maybe it was just an offer too good to to turn down right as the, as billionaires say everything's for sale if you've got if you offer the right amount he uh has renounced his russian citizenship so he is no longer a russian uh citizen citizen he no no longer holds russian passports neither do any of his family um interestingly he announced this on twitter and he basically said i am not you know we are no longer russian citizenship and the comments the first comment that was put below was quite interesting, wasn't it? Once, once a Russian oligarch, always a Russian oligarch. So I'll leave that one there. Um, now, uh, as far as the vessels and their locations, now Andromeda has been in the Mal not in the Maldives, in the Seychelles since March, and has been sailing around the Seychelles. AIS has been on the whole time, I believe. But the vessel is currently heading from P Port Victoria in the Seychelles uh, to Darwin in Australia. Now that's quite a big trip, you know, that's a, that's a few thousand miles there. And the ETA is the 23rd of October. Vessel's currently off the coast of Sumatra. And um, Ulysses, the other vessel, the, the second vessel that was built, is in Panama at anchor. And we covered the vessel moving recently because I believed the vessel was going to go through Panama Canal. And at the time he was still a Russian citizen, right? And we were monitoring his vessels just purely for that reason. Um, but that vessel has been in Panama for quite a while now at, at anchor. Now I'm told that he has a storage facility in that area. Um, also, a, a, a Ulysses sustained some damage when it had a collision with a tanker uh, a little while back. Um, so it's possibly that, that they're waiting to get that vessel repaired. Now it looks like Mr. Milner might be headed to Australia because the, that vessel's movements is uh, you don't normally send a vessel across an ocean like that unless the vessel's going to be used. Now, as far as I'm aware, those vessels are not for charter, which suggests that he's going to Australia to use the vessel. Uh, if you're in Darwin, by the way, please keep an eye out around the 23rd. And if you see anything, you snap at some uh, videos or pictures and uh, send them through to us. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. If you've got any information about any of the stories tonight or any other stories, please get in touch in the normal fashion. You can get us on the About page of YouTube. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.